good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you are watching me from this is Apple Kukudia and today I am back on your screen to share a very useful information on how to look for jobs and apply in Canada all right this is a very exclusive information and you need to share this video for other people to also benefit from this particular video all right it is a very exclusive one on how to you know approach companies that can help you with your work permit and your visit visa to canada to start a new life all right so please share and i am going to um, start in about two minutes all right this is apple kukudia and stay tuned All right, so um, we'll go straight on how to look for um, jobs in Canada, especially to companies that can help you with work permit. All right, so if you are living in your country where you want to have a change of environment, change of country, and you think you have what it takes to come to Canada and continue with whatever that you are doing in your home country, you can watch this video and it can go a long way to help you to move to canada all right so if your phone is or your laptop is connected to the internet that is all that you need all right that is all that you need you should always use your data very um, beneficial all right your data should always be used for something that can bring a positive impact into your life do not always go to social media to watch videos that will not benefit you all right do not go to social media or google to watch things that will only make you happy but watch and learn from people who share um, very important information that can change your life for good all right so this is one of them and i am going to share with you on how to look for jobs with companies that can help you with work permit in order to relocate to canada to work all right if you do not know yes i am telling you now that you can find jobs in canada from your home country and those companies if you pass through the interview stages and you finally get a job they are going to help you with your work permit all right this also goes to those who are not willing to move to canada through education all right they still want to hold on to whatever um, job that they are doing in their home country and they want to continue doing that even when they travel all right so this is for you this is for you please share for other people to also learn from this particular information all right I am going to start in about some few minutes so just stay tuned and I am going to share with you on how to apply to jobs in Canada straight from wherever you are watching me from
this is epic wikudia please share for other people to also benefit from this important information all right it will help not only you but it can also help someone who might be lucky and he or she might gain a job and subsequently get through the interview stages and that company and move that person to canada to start doing that job for them all right all right so we'll go straight to the internet and i am going to show you how to apply to um, companies in canada all right it is not every company that you can apply to all right you should always make sure that you are applying to companies that are certified they have positive l m a i all right so if you've been watching my videos you will notice that sometimes i do mention this particular l m a i very frequently all right and it is labor market impact assessment all right this labor market impact assessment approval is given to companies that are not able to find suitable um, um, candidates in canada and they are giving the approval to recruit people from outside of canada all right they are giving approval to um, recruit suitable people in order to fill those positions and then they are able to help them to get the required work permit that it requires all right so if you have an internet connection of course which you have because you're watching me live on facebook just go to google and then you just type and then you type positive labor market impact assessment employees list all right so that is all that you need when you type and then you click on enter and then it will pull up the approvals that have been given to employees in canada who can employ people whether those people are in canada but they don't have work permits or those people are out of canada and they need work permit to come to canada and then work with that organization right so the very first resort that pops up you just have to click on it but always make sure that it is the official um, government of canada website all right so when you type positive labor market impact assessment employee employers list this is what will pop up all right so we're gonna click on this one and then it will send us directly to the official government of canada website all right so this is it we have temporary foreign worker program all right so this positive labor market impact assessment list of employees they are under the temporary foreign worker program all right canada has a lot a lot a lot of programs and these programs really helps a lot of companies in order to bring in the required number of employees that can help their company grow and subsequently help the economy to also grow all right so when you're on this page you just have to scroll down and then you see all the lists of um, the approved um, companies under this program all right so the list have been posted as way back as 2014 all right so we just have to go through and then make sure that we look for um, the list that has been published for 2023 all right and that will be at the last button page all right so canada has two official language that is speak so it is french and english so anytime when they are posting things to for public consumption they make sure that they publish in both english and in french all right if you are familiar with english this is what you have to click and if you are the type of person who is very familiar with french then you click on the french edited one all right so with me i i am going to go for english and then we'll see the list of employers that have been approved with their labor market um, impact assessment and they can now employ employees that they can help with work permit all right so we're gonna click on it so this is the official page for all the list of employees that have been approved with the positive labor market impact assessment where they can employ um, people 
whether they are in Canada or out of Canada and they need work permits in order to work with those companies all right so they have provided a list um, uh, they have provided a link over here all right so we're gonna click on the link so like I said you first of all have to um, type positive labor market impact assessment employers list on your Google search bar and then you click on um, the very first um, Google search search tool that comes up that is the uh, Canada of government uh, government of Canada official web page when you click on this it is going to send you straight to the list of employers that have been approved to employ people out of um, Canada or even within Canada that need work permits all right so the list ranges from 2014 way down to 2023 all right so if you want to look for 2023 you go way down you go down 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 and then you click on the english version all right we have 2023 um quarter two and then in english and 2022 quarter two in french all right we are very interested in french english sorry so when you click on this you have the um link for all the list of employees in good standing all right so you're gonna click on the list so this are all the lists of employers that have been issued with a positive labor market impact assessment approval all right and if you look at it we are looking at 1600 and we are looking at 16,171 companies all right and again when you go to your far end you see the various jobs that they have advertised and then they are looking for people to fill those vacancies but they are not getting people to fill those vacancies all right so they have been authorized to recruit suitable employees who do not have work permit but they are they have the authority or they have the approval to help those people to gain or to get a work permit from the immigration service all right so you just have to go through all this list and then see if you will find your as whatever you do in your home country all right so if you are a cook in your home country you see we have a vacancy for a cook from Shaba Thai restaurant okay so this is um, just um, I'm sure it is a Chinese restaurant so obviously you are not going to know how their meals and stuff works all right so that is just an example and then if you look at this one if you look at this one they have accounting technicians and bookkeepers all right so you just have to check um, which company is this so indo food services all right so you just have to copy this company and then when you copy this company the best place to search for that particular job for you to apply is to go to um, indeed.com all right So you just go to indeed.com and then you type in the company's name, all right? When you type in the company's name, make sure that you don't have any city or province typed in here, all right? So you just click on find job to see if that particular company's job will pop up, all right? If that particular company's job doesn't pop up, you go to the list to find another company whose job will pop up in indeed all right so that you can be able to apply to that particular job opening there are a lot of them like i said 16,171 um, um, job openings and companies that have been giving their approval to recruit people who do not have work permits yet 
but the company can help them to to gain the work permit that it will pass for them to come to Canada and then work. Alright, so just for the purpose of um, tutorial, I am going to just pick on this one. This one says corporate sales managers. Alright, so I am just going to go to Indeed and then I'm just going to type the company's name in Indeed. Then look for this particular company. Alright, so you see this particular company has advertised the job in Indeed. Alright, and the job says that they are going to pay you 39.5 dollar an hour all right so we're gonna click on this one and then we'll click on apply on companies um, portal so you see the company has also advertised a job in job bank if you watch one of my videos you remember job bank i share this job bank link with my followers if you want to apply to companies in canada that is the most secure place that you can also go in order to apply to any vacant position that suits your experience that you have all right so this says corporate sales manager and if you go through all the requirements and you come down here you see that the employer accept application from other candidate with or without a valid Canadian work permit all right so it doesn't matter whether you have a work permit in Canada or not you can apply so far as you meet whatever that they are looking for and then you go through the various stages of the application process and you and you get the, the job the company is going to help you with your work permit and as soon as you have your work permit it comes with your temporary um, resident visa to canada all right so that is how to check and to apply for all this list of jobs that has been published on the government of canada website with a positive lmi all right so this company is looking for brookfield gardens they are looking for general farm workers all right you just go through the same process and then you apply to those jobs and again to watch my video on how to build your cv to the canadian standard all right watch my video on how to build your cv to canadian standard do not just apply with your foreign cv all right your foreign cv is far different from your canadian uh, how the canadian cv system works all right so watch my video on how to um, build your cv to match the canadian um, standard before you apply for this job and one more trick do not add your telephone number on your cv all right always make sure that the way they can contact you should be through emails all right because if you put your tele foreign telephone number over there most employers will not reach out to you all right make sure that you take off your telephone number but you add your active email address with your active email address they can always be able to get in touch with you and then schedule a meeting with you an employer getting in touch with you for the first time is a positive sign that you have a very good cv and they are very interested in having an engagement with you all right so this is how you can move to canada through um, applying to companies that have been approved with a positive um, labor market impact assessment and that company can help you please share for other people to also benefit from this tutorial it can also help someone to move to canada if not through education bye bye and i'll come with you again with another great news bye